Hey guys, Laron here with Samsung Digital Imaging. I'm here to talk to you about the advanced autofocus settings on our Samsung NX1. To fine tune your autofocus based on your shooting environment, there are three different sets of options I'd like to walk you through. The first set of options is found with the tactile autofocus button on the top left of the camera. These options are your basic autofocus modes. Press this button and a few options appear on your screen. First, you have your single autofocus mode, where if you have pressed the shutter button, the focus box turns green to inform you that the area is in focus. If you recompose a frame with the shutter button still depressed, that original area will remain in focus. This is great for portraits or still subjects. The next is the continuous autofocus, where the camera will continuously focus within the focus area, even as you or your subject moves. This is great for sports or action photography. This option, teamed with our 15 frames per second, will ensure that you get sharp action images every time. We also have an active autofocus mode where the system will automatically select between single autofocus or continuous autofocus if it detects movement within the frame or not. This mode takes a guesswork out of choosing between continuous autofocus and single autofocus. Finally, there's a manual focus mode which is found on a switch on most of our lenses. On our prime lenses that lack a manual focus switch, it can be changed here in the menu. For all three of these modes, you can change your autofocus area by pushing the OK button and using the directional pad to move that focus area around. You can also make the focus area larger or smaller based on your preference by using the top wheel found by the shutter button. So the second set of options are for your autofocus area. Instead of choosing your area in the selection autofocus, you can press the function button and change your autofocus area mode from selection to multi-autofocus, which lets the camera intelligently select their autofocus points throughout the frame. When selected, you'll see numerous autofocus points on the screen indicating where the area is in focus. And we've also recently added the zone autofocus mode, which combines your selection area and your multi. So you can select your focus area, and within that area, multi-autofocus will be utilized within that zone. Included in the autofocus area menu, we also have, have options like face detection and self-portrait mode. The third set of options are found through our touch display. By pressing this touch icon on the left of the screen, several options appear. The default setting is a touch autofocus mode. You can tap anywhere on the frame to find focus and then push the shutter button to capture the image. This is the easiest and my personal favorite option on the NX1. The next is the autofocus point, which lets you choose the focus area, but won't actually focus until you halfway press the shutter button. There's also the tracking autofocus, which will track a subject multi-directionally within the frame, which is really great to track subjects in a frame. Finally, there's a one-touch shot, which allows you to tap anywhere you focus and snap that image simultaneously. This is a great option to get a sharp focus and snap that picture quickly to get a sharp shot every single time. So thanks for taking the time to watch our video, and I hope this gives you a greater understanding of the autofocus system of our Samsung NX1. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Again, I'm Laurent with Samsung Digital Imaging. Thanks for your time.